Hello everybody, I'm Terry, and welcome to my channel, The Crafty Clefty. And today we're just going to make a simple placemat. Um, I don't have twine or um, rope, so I decided just to use yarn. And I did not um, crochet, I just braided and all one piece. So I'll tell you what I did. You're going to need about six or seven yards of yarn and each color so you can braid it. And this one here has two of each. You can make it single. You can make it two of each, three of each, it doesn't matter, four of each. But what I'm going to show you how to actually braid it with that long of a um, um, yarn to make sure that you don't twist the, um, the yarn. Because if you just start braiding, it's all going to knot up. And, it's, and you're just going to throw up your hands and, and say goodbye. <laughs> but let me get started here. Okay, I used a, um, a yardstick and just put it on the edge and just wrapped it around. Now, get done with those. There's three strands you want to connect it. Me, I went ahead, I tied mine, and I, this is two pieces of yarn for each um, of the three to make the, to make the braid. Now, we're going to set this down, I don't know if you can see this. up here. I think you can see it. Okay, now what you do is, I know most of you know how to braid, but some of you probably don't. So anyway, you take, spread them out, and what you're going to do for this long of yarn that you're braiding, you're going to take the ends, the very end, and just roll it up like a ball. Okay. And then you're just going to clamp it. Now with the, with it being as long as it is, it's going to be really large. So you're going to take your clamp and take the end and then take the Oh, how do I explain this? You have a whole bunch of yarn. You take a part of it up, like the end, and then the other part that you want the length, and then you grab that together. That will keep your yarn from going away, from just flying away and becoming one big knot. Now, I'm going to do that again, and just to give you an idea of what you're doing. Now remember, these are going to be large. So, you have it where it's just going to hang at a decent spot where it's not going to tangle. And I had my... Okay. You see that? No, oh, I didn't work, did it? Okay, how about that? Can you see that? Now, to braid, You take one end, the end, and cross it over to the middle. 
then the other outer end. Cross it over to the middle. Okay, the outer end. Cross it over to the middle. The outer end. Always the outer end. And just keep doing that. And this will not tangle up on you unless you lose your grip. Then it can. But just keep. It's always the out, outside to the end, the other side to the middle, then the out to the middle, out to the middle. Okay, see how you got that braid? I'll keep doing that. And you got to be really careful if you're using two, three, or four thicknesses of yarn for each one. Now, when you get to, remember these are very long, when you get to the edge here, the bottom, you will take it and unroll a little bit and then clamp again. And then just keep on going until you get to the very end, each one. Okay, now, all the way to the very end and then you knot it, like this, just knot. Now, mine is very long as you can see. So we are going to start first of all I'm going to put napkins down. Okay. And I'm gonna put on some gloves. I got these I think my son got these at Walmart. Anyway, it has a lot of glue from here on in. So I'm just going to put these on. Let me look. Always want something kind of underneath because there's going to be a lot of glue here. I'm going to get my pick the end. I'm going to lay it down. Now, my, these gloves are big. And we are going to a little glue at the end. And you're going to get this tight. And you're just going to roll it up. And just going to roll it up. Now, these gloves are actually too big. So it's going to look kind of funny <laughs> as the gloves get kind of caught. And you just keep on rolling and keep on gluing. And okay, now just keep on. Can oh, you can't see this. So it's 
blue. Now this is not for um, hot things. This is just for like a coffee cup or soda cup to rest on. But you're just going to wrap it around. Make sure it's nice and flat. And this is going to take me a little while. Now one thing I I made a mistake by when I was braiding, I put white, white, white yarn and then off-white yarn together and it made the off-white yarn look old. Look like it was dirty when it's not. And I don't like messing with this glue without gloves on. But the gloves are too big. So, anyway, I think you get the picture. And let's see, I'm just going to keep on wrapping around. You're going to have a circle, a nice circle, nice tight circle, which I don't have because my gloves are too big and this is really ugly. So I'm just going to, maybe I should just put it on rope itself. There we go. I can like a rope. And this does not look like a cross circle. Maybe that would be better doing it like that. And, well, I think everyone gets the idea. You just keep wrapping your glue all the way around till you get that pattern. Well, something like this. And then the very end of it, you're just going to glue the very end of it together. Now this is going to have to cure because this is E6000 glue. So, and this is going to take me a little while. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you go. And I thank you for watching. I will have a picture of this up when I get done doing all this with the glue. So you can see, um, and it will take time to dry. So um, anyway, I want to thank you for watching my channel. I want to thank you um, for subscribing, and I want to invite um, the people who have not subscribed yet um, to, um, if you like my channel, to subscribe. And um, thank you very much. And I will have a picture of this on the very end of the video when it comes up. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.